Hey guys, we're back again for another episode of Techno Blub. I'm Ivan Wilkins. And I'm Maurice John. What are we talking about today? Uh, today we're going to talk about the, the new release of the highly anticipated Samsung Galaxy S8. Alright, so that's going to be cool. So we'll talk about the Samsung Galaxy S8 that came out last week, Friday, I yeah. think. Yes. Weekend. Right. So, S8. Hmm. What's your thoughts? My thoughts. I don't know. Uh, gosh. The S8. It looks good. Mm -hmm. It's a good looking device. I feel my apple bias in me <laughs> coming out right now. It almost feels like if. Samsung has like no more ideas left. Mm -hmm. So we heard rumors from since last year that the anniversary iPhone is going to have this oh, really? uh, screen design, this, that, 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 the other. And all of a sudden, every phone that's coming out this year having some kind of screen yeah. design yeah. trick. They're calling it um, Infinity Screen. Right, Infinity Screen. Right. And I felt like is this just to combat the anniversary whatever iPhone? Yeah, they're, they're worried. Uh, they're, right. they're scared. <laughs> because the note crashed and born, the reputation is on the rocks. Mm -hmm. But let, let me look at the phone itself. Outside of the phone being having a bigger screen, there's not much difference in the phone. No. Not much. It has the same camera. <laughs> And that is important. <laughs> this I'm yeah. like, you know, every year expecting yeah. this great yeah, leap yeah. forward in the camera department. Same camera from last year, same guys. Camera. Don't expect nothing impressive. Mm -hmm. Same camera. Like, Although the camera from last year ain't too bad. It's not bad, but come on, every year it's, it's always that mm -hmm. iteration that you expect. Yeah. And then it's not. What it's, a, well, it's not only the same camera, but the battery is the same too. Back in right, size. and the battery. It, I don't know if they try to play it so safe that it increases <laughs> battery size because every phone, the LG has a bigger battery, mm. the HCU has a bigger battery than it. So I'm like, because your phone blew up last year, you did go out and you know push the battery boundaries. I, I, I really don't. So what else did they drop? What else Samsung drop? They, they dropped the, the new voice assistant. Right. We call it Bexy? Bigsby. <laughs> Big, Bigsby. God, my word. Bigsby. <laughs> That's where it has for us. Ah, where's the whole Bigsby? Uh, I, I, I don't understand this app. Samsung's play with Bigsby. I mean, we have Siri, we have Cortana, we have Google Now, and we have Alexa. Where is Samsung going with this? Exactly. I feel like if. I don't think that Samsung is doing the right strategy when it comes to competing with Google software. Mm -hmm. And they've been trying to separate themselves from Google for the longest while now, exactly. and it's just not happening. Remember Tizen? Right, you have Tizen. Yeah, Tizen. Like, right. if you buy a Samsung phone in the past, I don't know if they still do it now, but there was the Samsung calendar, then you have the Google calendar. Then you have all of these competing um, services, and none of them seem to work. S Health, S Voice, S Plan, all of these yeah. these auxiliary um, apps that come with the, with the phones never seem to catch on. I'm hoping that the investment that they're making in Bixby is not just the same by the wayside investment. Mm, and that, that seems going to fall through like all the rest. I think so too. I don't know. One of the one of the major advantages that Google has when it comes to personal assistants, they own search. And because they own search, they have a mountain of data to make your life better in a sense where they know what you want. Exactly. So to jump into that field kind of you know makes sense computer with Google in that in that regard as a That's phone cool. company. I, I I really don't see the logic in this, but hey, because I don't I don't. It's not like a big guy come on to all of the Android phones. No, it's just gonna be on Samsung phones. Exactly. So I I don't see the point. But right. hey, 
I could be wrong. <laughs> I could be proven wrong, people. I could be proven wrong. Yeah. So let's see what what that is about. Yeah. Yeah. So what else about it that um, grab your attention? <laughs> that, that's <laughs> that's how it's all launched at that day? Yeah. Oh man. I think the Dex. The Dex. Dex. Who comes up with these names, by the way? Oh my Who's god. Here, Dex, <laughs> so child in a prison. Yeah. Samsung Dex. Mm. Tell us about that. Ah, oh, boy. I, 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 I don't want to start there eh, because you, you, I, know what, you know what we're going to. Uh, I felt like these Microsoft people. <laughs> Started feeling their heart cringing <laughs> so ever so slightly oh, when man. Samsung demonstrated their take on the phone morphing into a desktop. Yeah. Guess what? They did it, and I would say they did it better than Microsoft. You know why? Uh, tell me. You could only use one app at a time with without continue right now. Explain that. It takes the full screen. Oh, okay. But okay. with Samsung implementation, the phone, if you plug it into a dock, plug in a keyboard into the dock, plug in your mouse, the display, turns into a full desktop experience, but it has windowed applications for better multitasking. And in the demo with Microsoft Word, and it looked perfect. You have a nice little dock to the bottom that has your window management. It looked good. <laughs> you can't. You uh, can't. It, it looked. It looked yeah. like what Microsoft should have, should have done. Should have done. Yeah. Uh, but it's expected. Everybody does marketing better than Microsoft. I, I don't get it. Well, we'll see. We'll see. All right, folks. This has been another episode of Techno Blob. Join us next time as we take on the world of technology with my awesome video partner, host, friend, <laughs> Mr. Ibe Wilkins. All right. Yeah, and don't forget, guys, to like and subscribe us on YouTube and uh, like us on Facebook. Yes. All right. Thanks for watching.